Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan, where I simplify life and business and help you become your highest and best self. What's holding you back? Is there something that's holding you back lately that's causing you to think things over, think things twice, uh, not move forward, stop, hesitate, and wait? Because if there is, I know what that thing is, and I'm going to help you with that today. You see, here's the thing. I've been talking to a lot of people lately, and it's coming down to what they believe. It's coming down to their limiting beliefs. And the key here is that these limiting beliefs are not theirs. It's not theirs. They didn't own it. It wasn't given to them, or it was given to them, but they couldn't say no. So the reason why they couldn't say no is because they were young. When we're young, when we're between zero and seven years old, we can't say no to anything at all. We can't reject it. We can't say, hey, parents, <laughs> I don't like what's going on here. Uh, you know, stop. So here's the thing. Maybe it's money related. And I was talking with somebody recently and they had parents that were wealthy, yet they had scarcity mindset, poverty mindset. And here's the thing. When you look at history, a lot of people have scarcity and poverty mindset because there were a lot of issues that led up to that. You know, there was uh, wars, there was uh, economic downturns, all sorts of problems that lead to these issues. And so it can't be avoided. Here's, you know, it can't be avoided. Why? Because that was what's passed down. And you would think that, oh, hey, it's, it's you know, genetically passed on. It's not. It's psychologically passed on. It's not genetics. It's not hereditary. You don't have to, you know, be poor or don't have the things you want in your life because of your parents and their parents and, you know, and so on down the line. So the key here is what you think and feel you create and you create what you believe. So if you're limited and you can see that you look around your world and you're limited, what needs to happen is you need to change the story. You have a story that's running in your head. It's a train of thought. And that train of thought keeps going around and around and around. And every time something happens that brings up that old story about poverty, you know, like, for example, in my life, you know, I had things that I didn't really like, but I had to, I had to wear them, like tough skin jeans with a patch on the inside so I didn't ruin them. You know, those are the things I didn't like. But to me... My friends didn't have them, so those were things that, you know, um, the, the wealthy kids didn't have to wear. So think about it for a moment. What is limiting you? What's holding you back? Do you, do you realize it? Do you see it? Do you, do, you, do you notice what you're thinking? Because if you notice what you're thinking, then you can make a correction. Then you can create a new story and start creating a new life. That's the key. But what's holding you back isn't your own. It wasn't your fault but you have the option to correct it and make it better. Don't blame anybody. It's not their fault. It's just the way it is. Now you can correct it. So if this is you, leave a comment below. Let me know what was limiting you or has been limiting you. And as always, if uh, you're not watching this video on my YouTube channel, head over there and check it out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.